Welcome to season two of Star in VR. I'm Tom and we have here today Liz. So Liz, tell us a bit about yourself. So I'm Liz Bossop. I am the Deputy Vice Chancellor for Student Development and Engagement, which is probably the world's longest job title. Um, but in effect, what it means is that I'm uh, one of the Deputy Vice Chancellors. So there's, there's a few of us and we all do different jobs, have different portfolios. Um, my particular area is the students. So I have the best job, I always think, because I get to look after everything to do with students. So in the main, it's around how we teach you, how we assess you, um, but also about your general experience as well. And particularly about how you engage with us above and beyond the curriculum. Uh, so at, at what point during a student's journey might they meet you? So most of my interaction with students is through people such as yourself. We've met before because you are a rep um, and I work obviously really closely with our students in order to uh, progress and improve what we do with you and to work with you on various different projects. You know, as you know, at Lincoln, we like to involve our students with everything we do um, when, it, when it comes to change, ta changing different things. So um, that's where I mostly come across students. I also have some tutees, so um, I get to teach and, and look after students on a, on a, on a sort of more regular basis for, through that way as well um, and also then of course there are some students who step up and do various different projects or sit on working groups or really you know engage beyond um, what would sort of be a traditional student experience and so I will come across them as well. We also have um, an excellent program in um, in the university where we get a, a sort of like matched with a student as well so at the moment I have a history student who I'm working with and we we shadow each other and work out what, what each other does which is a really great way for me to see what happens um, to students what sort of things you go through and what the challenges are and what the good things are and also it's really interesting for her to see what a deputy vice chancellor gets up to because I'm not sure I know the answer to that phrase that that question so uh, yeah really really interesting one so do you work across the university or is it specific schools? Yeah, absolutely. So my role sits across all the colleges and all the schools um, and I sort of uh, have a leadership role in, you know, designing, leading, evolving what we do from a curricular perspective and also the sort of broader student experience. So yeah, across all areas. Are you working on any projects at the moment that you're particularly excited about? Gosh, yes. Where do I start? Lots of different things going on, as ever in a place like Lincoln, really busy, busy bees behind the scenes. Um, so one of the things we're doing at the moment is a project that we've called The Long First Year, which is actually looking at um, students' transition to university and then that first year, which, as we all know, is such a, a crucial uh, time period for, for new students um, in that, you know, it's a period of great change. It's, there's lots of uncertainty that goes on. It's really exciting. Um, and for many students, it goes in incredibly smoothly and everything you know runs really well and you know they feel like they're they're getting a great experience but for some some students it's more challenging and so what we've been doing is running a big project across the whole university to really try and unpick what happens at various different stages of that cycle and then um, come up with a number of interventions to trial that hopefully will make things a bit smoother and a bit easier and to really think about transition not just that first few weeks you know we all think about welcome week and freshers week and you know how important they are but actually I think that tr transition continues throughout the whole of first year um, and so it's really important that students feel supported throughout that whole time and of course on to, into second and third year as well so that's probably the most exciting project I'm involved in at the moment right. um, we've got some really boring things around assessment and that kind of stuff but I won't bore you with those let's let's stick with the long first year that's a good one so just finished your lap um, on this monster machine <laughs> how do you think it went uh, yeah, so um, interesting. Um, it, yeah, it's quite an experience, I have to say. Uh, it makes you feel a bit sick, which is quite interesting. Um, I'm not sure if that was my bad driving or whether it's just the machine. But no, uh, it was all right. I didn't crash, so that's good. Um, I suspect fairly slow and steady. I'm not known for my speedy driving skills. So, how, how, how close do you think it actually is to, to, real, to real driving? It feels pretty real, yeah, but obviously driving a racing car, which is not really what I'm used to driving. So yeah, I drive a four wheel drive normally, so a bit different. Um, so yeah, I, I should think I'm, I'm pretty middling to low in the, in the, well, actually I get a chance to be top of the, top of the leaderboard today, which is fantastic. But yeah, uh, not, not, not earth shattering speed wise, I would imagine. Can you see yourself as a, uh, a race car driver? No, <laughs> no, that's an easy one to answer. So it's not going to be something you shop around for now following this? Definitely not. And, and next time I'm going to request that we do a, a horse racing lap instead, because I think <laughs> racing horse is far more my, my bag. So yeah. <laughs> Get on the horse racing simulator, Chris. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so let's watch the lap.
So we've just seen your lap, and are you ready for the results? I am indeed, yes. <laughs> I can tell you that you completed your lap in two minutes and 30.175 seconds. Wow. So, um, I've no idea if that's good or not. <laughs> well, um, let's look at the leaderboard and find out. Oh, amazingly enough, I'm at the top. <laughs> wow, what are the chances of that? Obviously, I'll put myself right up here yeah, to well. make it look really good. So that's marvellous. Thank you very much. <laughs> very good. Very well done. <laughs>